Imagine a bustling city teeming with life. Now, imagine that city underwater, a vibrant tapestry of colors, shapes, and creatures. Coral reefs are the rainforests of the sea, home to a quarter of all marine species. These underwater cities are essential for the health of our oceans and millions of people worldwide. Coral reefs may seem like solid, rocky structures, but they are built by tiny animals called coral polyps. These polyps are related to jellyfish and anemones, and like their relatives, they have stinging tentacles that they use to capture food. Coral polyps live in colonies, and as they grow, they secrete a hard calcium carbonate skeleton beneath their bodies. This skeleton is what forms the structure of the coral reef. Over time, as millions of coral polyps live and die, their skeletons accumulate, layer upon layer, creating the massive structures we see today. The process of reef formation is incredibly slow, with some corals growing less than an inch per year. It can take thousands of years for a coral reef to reach a significant size. The shape and structure of a coral reef depend on various factors, including the type of coral species present, the wave action, and the availability of sunlight. Coral reefs come in a variety of shapes and sizes, from fringing reefs that grow close to the shore to barrier reefs that are separated from the land by a lagoon. Atolls are ring-shaped reefs that form around submerged islands. The intricate structures created by coral reefs provide a variety of habitats for marine life, making them some of the most biodiverse ecosystems on Earth. Coral reefs are often called the rainforests of the sea because of their incredible biodiversity. Although they cover less than 1% of the ocean floor, coral reefs support an estimated 25% of all marine species. This incredible diversity is due in part to the complex structure of coral reefs, which provides a wide range of habitats for different species. Fish, invertebrates, algae, and countless other organisms find food, shelter, and breeding grounds within the coral's intricate framework. From brightly colored fish and delicate seahorses to majestic sea turtles and sharks, coral reefs are teeming with life. The biodiversity of coral reefs is not just a spectacle of nature, it is also essential for the health of the entire ocean. Coral reefs play a vital role in nutrient cycling, providing food for larger marine animals and helping to regulate populations of smaller organisms. The intricate web of life within a coral reef is a delicate balance, and the loss of even a single species can have cascading effects throughout the ecosystem. Protecting coral reefs is not just about preserving their beauty, it is about safeguarding the health and resilience of our oceans. Coral reefs are not just important for marine life, they also provide numerous benefits to humans. Millions of people around the world depend on coral reefs for their livelihoods, food security, and protection from coastal erosion. Coral reefs act as natural barriers, buffering coastlines from storms and waves, this protection is crucial for coastal communities, especially in the face of rising sea levels and increasingly severe weather events. Coral reefs are also a major source of protein for millions of people, particularly in developing countries. The fish and other marine life that thrive in coral reefs are a vital food source, contributing to food security and economic stability. Tourism is another significant benefit of coral reefs. The beauty and biodiversity of these underwater ecosystems attract millions of visitors each year, generating revenue and creating jobs in coastal communities. From snorkeling and scuba diving to fishing and boating, coral reefs offer a wide range of recreational opportunities that support local economies. The value of coral reefs to human well-being is immeasurable, making their protection a global priority. Section 5. The Warming Threat, Coral Reefs and Climate Change Climate change poses one of the most significant threats to coral reefs worldwide. As global temperatures rise, so do ocean temperatures, leading to a phenomenon known as coral bleaching. Corals have a symbiotic relationship with microscopic algae called zooxanthellae that live within their tissues. These algae provide the coral with food and give them their vibrant colors. When water temperatures get too warm, the coral expels the algae, causing the coral to turn white or bleach. Without the zooxanthellae, the coral loses its primary food source and becomes more susceptible to disease. While bleached coral can recover if conditions improve, prolonged bleaching events can be fatal. Climate change is also leading to ocean acidification, which occurs as the ocean absorbs excess carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. 
This increased acidity makes it more difficult for corals to build their calcium carbonate skeletons, further weakening the reef structure. Section 6. Pollution, a danger to coral health. Pollution from land-based sources is another major threat to coral reefs. Runoff from agriculture, sewage, and industrial activities carries pollutants such as fertilizers, pesticides, and chemicals into coastal waters. These pollutants can harm coral reefs in several ways. Excess nutrients from fertilizers can lead to algal blooms that block sunlight and smother corals. Pesticides and herbicides can poison corals and disrupt their growth and reproduction. Sediment from construction and deforestation can cloud the water, reducing light availability for corals and smothering them. Plastic pollution is also a growing concern for coral reefs. Plastic debris can entangle marine life, including corals, and release harmful chemicals into the water as it breaks down. Reducing pollution from both land-based and marine sources is crucial for protecting coral reefs and the marine life they support. Section 7. Overfishing, disrupting the delicate balance. Overfishing is a significant threat to the health and resilience of coral reefs. Fish play a vital role in maintaining the delicate balance of the reef ecosystem. Herbivorous fish, for example, graze on algae, preventing it from overgrowing and smothering corals. Predatory fish help to control populations of smaller fish and invertebrates, preventing any one species from dominating the reef. When fish are removed from the reef ecosystem at unsustainable rates, it disrupts this delicate balance. Overfishing of herbivorous fish can lead to an overgrowth of algae, which can outcompete corals for space and light. Overfishing of predatory fish can lead to an increase in populations of their prey, which can have cascading effects throughout the food web. Sustainable fishing practices that prevent overfishing and protect the balance of the reef ecosystem are essential for the long-term health of coral reefs. Section 8. Protecting our underwater treasures conservation efforts. Protecting coral reefs requires a multifaceted approach that addresses the various threats they face. Conservation efforts are underway around the world to mitigate climate change, reduce pollution, and promote sustainable fishing practices. Marine Protected Areas, or MPAs, are one of the most effective tools for conserving coral reefs. MPAs are designated areas of the ocean where human activities are restricted or prohibited to protect marine ecosystems. These protected areas provide a refuge for marine life, allowing populations to recover and thrive. Other conservation efforts include restoring damaged reefs through coral gardening and transplantation, educating the public about the importance of coral reefs, and promoting sustainable tourism practices. Small steps, big impact. Protecting coral reefs is everyone's responsibility. Reduce your carbon footprint. Climate change is the biggest threat. Choose sustainable seafood. Be a responsible tourist. Use reef-safe sunscreen. Support local businesses. Spread the word. Section 10, the future of coral reefs, a shared responsibility. The future of coral reefs hangs in the balance. These vital ecosystems are facing unprecedented threats and their survival depends on our actions. The good news is that there is still time to act. By addressing the threats of climate change, pollution, and overfishing, we can give coral reefs a fighting chance. Protecting coral reefs is not just about preserving their beauty, it is about safeguarding the health of our oceans, the livelihoods of millions of people, and the future of our planet. It is a shared responsibility that requires global cooperation, innovation, and a commitment to sustainability. Section 11, Conclusion. Our blue planet, our shared home. We live on a blue planet with oceans covering over 70% of its surface. Coral reefs, though occupying a small fraction of this vast expanse, play a vital role in maintaining the health and balance of our oceans and our planet as a whole. The vibrant colors, the intricate structures, and the astonishing diversity of life found in coral reefs are a testament to the wonders of the natural world. However, these underwater treasures are under threat, facing unprecedented challenges from human activities. The future of coral reefs, and indeed the health of our oceans, depends on our actions. It is our responsibility to understand the importance of these ecosystems, to mitigate the threats they face, and to become stewards of our blue planet. By working together, we can ensure that coral reefs continue to thrive for generations to come, 
reminding us of the interconnectedness of all life and the importance of protecting the natural world that sustains us all.